So I bought this one meter length anti-spray strip brush off of eBay and I went with this spray sub spray suppressant strip brush because it's got 75 mil long bristles on it although they are pretty strong bristles so this is my new dust shoe design it's going to be using this top connection ring I'll see and see it out of a bit of nylon chopping board so I don't think I'm going to be able to hose clamp 3d print layers and this outside assembly which will encapsulate this piece of six millimeter acrylic in the center and then obviously I've got the part at the front which will connect my shop back to I'm going to jump over onto my mostly printed CNC and I'll cut these out and then I'm going to 3D print them 3D print parts my 3D printer with no retraction because I find I get stronger parts
So I'm all done with the CNC work and the 3D and the 3D printing. I'm going to start cleaning up these 3D prints, some nail files, a deburring tool, and a flathead screwdriver to remove the supports. So I'm all done cleaning up the parts. I'm gonna epoxy all these pieces together and I'll epoxy in the, the strip brush as well.
Fortunately, I've had a bit of a hiccup. I didn't leave enough allowance for the nylon, the nylon boot to clamp to the bottom of the router. With material, material in. I've had a bit of a brain fart. So for now, I'm just running it press fitted. I'm hard out, hard up against the tool mount and just press fitted to the bottom of the router. My new dust shoe doesn't work quite as well as the old one. I think the, bri the brush bristles on this anti-spray strip brush are actually really strong. I've noticed I'm getting a lot more artifact artifacts in some of the really deep carvings. Whereas the old dust shoe didn't used to do that. Whereas some of these lower ones look alright. It's also not as effective on the dust as the last dust shoe I made. So I think when I get around to it, I might, I might end up replacing these brush, this brush strip with a same length but softer bristles. Other than that, I'm happy with the design. The, the viewport window is great because I can see whether it's smoking or not. Um, the travel's really good. It's nice being able to get three quarters of an inch easily. So I think if I just replace this strip brush with soft, with a brush with softer bristles, maybe some that are bunched a bit tighter, I might be able to get drastically improved results from it. But other than that, it's, it's going in the right direction. It's a lot nicer to use than the old one. Really nice being able to get easily three quarters of an inch travel, especially for V carving. So, yeah, that's where I'm at with my new dust shoe. Thanks for watching, and I welcome your subscription. <laughs>